Chew Gamer here and I'm back with another episode. Okay, first you're going to need a computer, whether it's a desktop or laptop, it doesn't matter. Then a Stadia controller. I have this wonderful Founders Edition variant because I was one of the few people who did believe in Stadia. And most importantly, we're going to need a USB-C cable so we can do all of that high speed data transferring. Now we have all of our equipment, we're gonna turn our attention to the computer. So what you wanna do first is go to stadia.google.com slash controller and it will divert you to this website which you see on my monitor now on your screens. Whatever you do guys, don't connect your controller yet to the computer. Make sure you've charged it for at least 30 minutes. So now our Stadia controller is all charged up. What you want to do, still don't connect it to the computer yet guys. You have to press this Stadia button and hold it for a few seconds. So what that does, it allows you to go into Bluetooth mode and once you see this white light pulsating like this, you know that you are good to go. And it will turn to orange eventually once we've got our controller in bluetooth mode still don't connect your controller to your computer just yet head over to your computer click switch to bluetooth mode then press start and it says it's going to take three minutes for it to work its magic okay you're going to see this screen and it will tell you now your controller is in Bluetooth mode to connect it to the computer, which I'm going to do now. So now guys, you connect your controller up like so. You will hear that wonderful chime on your computer to know a USB has entered the facility. Now you click continue on the computer allow chrome to verify you click here stadia controller rev a and then connect so once that's done you click next step so once we're on this screen here it's going to tell you how to unlock your controller you remove your usb and then you hold down this these three dotted buttons and then plug in the controller and then once that's done, keep holding down them three dotted buttons and press this button and that button at the same time, A and Y. And once that's done, you go to the next step. Go to allow Chrome to download and then connect. And now it's updating. It says download complete. Go to next step again, allow Chrome to install, click the black text in this white box again, connect. So now it was working its magic and it's updating your controller so it can be a Bluetooth device and you can connect it to other hardwares and other services. But you'll no longer be able to access wireless mode. It's completely Bluetooth. So it should work in, should work on most consoles and it definitely work on PCs. So there you have it guys, the latest Bluetooth mode update is installed, game on. Your controller is in Bluetooth mode and compare to Bluetooth devices. You can now unplug your controller. So you could probably use it with the phone and all that good stuff. Okay, proof is in the pudding. Let's see if this Stadia controller works on my PS5. So I'm connecting it up wired. Oh baby, there you have it. It's found my Stadia controller. Let's see if I can play a game with it. And it comes up as Stadia 7HX893D. So I'm gonna connect it up.
please wait. Will it hit the jackpot? That is the question. It looks like the PS5 will find it, but it just won't let you connect. So I've come to this conclusion, guys. Rule out your Google Stadia working in any consoles for now. Maybe an update in the future will allow you to do it. But as it's brandishing on the screen, it's for desktops, laptops, and mobile phones. Guaranteed to work in either of them free. Okay, guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Even better, subscribe. Till next time, see ya.